Sometimes you may need to split an array in two. This can be done under Array and Split 1D Array. So the split happens based on this index. So if I was run it now, we can see our secondary array outputs all of our values. But if I want to split it at index, let's say 1, I hit run, our 10 gets split. So the split occurs right here. Or if I wanted it at index 4, for example, now it'll split our array right in half because this is an 8 element array. So 4 cuts it right in the middle. So because this video is so short, and this is also really short, this is the reverse 1D array. I have not talked about this yet. It is extremely simple. And all it does is it takes an array as an input, and it simply reverses it. So here we can see it just literally reversed the array we plugged in. So this is the same thing. Neither one of these work with two-dimensional arrays. It does say it in the title, but that's just something to keep in mind. So this was so this is the split 1D array and this is the reverse 1D array. Both found under arrays and reverse is right here and split is right here. Yeah, cut some of that out. So, just from the reverse. All right. Another node that would make a short video would be the rotate 1D array. So, what this does is let me plug it all together. If we run this, we can see the rotate 1D array at n of 0 just, just prints out the input. But now if we go to n of 1 and hit run, we can see now that this 10 got shifted. So this 80 actually got brought around and now filled in this 0th element. Same can be done if we go to, let's say, n of 3. And we hit run, we can see now these first three elements are actually the tail end of our original. So these three nodes can be used to manipulate arrays, not as extreme as, let's say, random shuffling or ordering things, but if you just want them broken into different parts, Split Array is a really good node, and then Reverse Array is if you just need your information, I guess, backwards from the way the device outputted it, and then and then Rotate 1D Array can be used to, I guess, rotate elements through, depending on what you set N to. So, hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for more.